What's going on everyone? It's Iris Shadow and I'm bringing you a new game that I'm covering. And I'm going to be playing The Escapist The Walking Dead. So much like The Escapists, this is... Well, I should say that this is kind of different from The Escapist, from what I've seen on other channels and read about it. Now, apparently this is less about... Actually, there's, there's no escaping of anything. It's more along the lines of, like, zombie survival. The Escapist style. So let's start it up and see what we got. Options. Yeah, that's fine. Play. Okay, so Harrison Memorial Hospital. After suffering a gunshot wound during the shootout, Rick Grimes awakes awakens to find himself in an unfamiliar place. So yeah, if it wasn't completely obvious, this game follows the TV show. I don't know how far along into the TV show it goes, but uh, we'll, I guess we'll find out. Facing a trigger-happy adversary out from a, okay, well that was fucking went by. Okay, so this is basically how the first uh, episode of The Walking Dead starts. There's a shootout, Rick gets shot, he goes to the hospital, and that's when the outbreak happens, basically. So I guess as it stands, it's uh, starting off in Season 1. Rick's desk. Rick's uh, t-shirt and jeans. Okay. I guess I gotta be watch watch out for walkers. Ooh, what's this? Pillowcase? Oh. Toilet? Nothing. Wheelchair? Rucksack. What's this? Volume 1. Days Gone By. You found a volume of The Walking Dead with enough exploration and puzzle solving, will you be able to find them all? You can view these volumes of The Walking Dead you find by accessing the bonus items via selection via the pause menu. Okay. Well. He's like, yeah, I found volume one days gone by. It's like breaking the fourth wall. Soap. Oh, uh, okay, so makeshift kosh. Is it a weapon? It is a weapon. Oh, look at that. Oh, uh, anything else? I think someone is trapped in the elevator. I should help. Uh, I don't think so. Uh oh. Oh, fuck. It's a zombie. Not alive. Okay. So I don't really see, like, how... Oh, okay. Is it... Oh, there he is. Let's go fuck him up. Fuck him up! Can I... Oh. Duct tape and two files. Look at that shit. Wait, what happened there? Flimsy cutters. 
So this one is more story driven than the escapists. The original escapists, because it, it basically just you're in a jail, you have to escape from the jail, and I can already tell this is going to be a little bit more, like, story-driven. Miles behind us. Okay, I got volume two. Sack over here. Volume 3. Safety behind bars. Oh. Okay. I don't see anything else I can grab. Oh shit, there's a lot of them. Fuck. I don't even know if I can fight them all. No. Can't fight them. Can't fight them. Ah, okay. A pistol? Head outside and select the pistol using L1 or R and R1 and use L2 to draw your weapon with the target locked on its on the walker press R2 button repeatedly to fire. Okay. Ah. He's, he's even got like a little gun holding animation. I got unlimited ammo. It's quite a change. Sturdy shovel. Cool. You got anything on you? No. Kill it. Ah. Bitch. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Shit. Sack. This is probably another comic. The Heart's Desire. Yep. Okay. Oh, I, I guess that was it. After his first encounter with the undead, Rick, confused and scared, trudges on. Here we are. Rick. Oh, look at that. It's Carl! And no, I'm not a fan of Rick Grimes. I kind of actually despise the character. After meeting a stranger called Glenn, who arrives, invites Rick to his camp. Yeah. Okay. So we're at the Green Family Farm. Herschel. Herschel Green. Goddamn. After his pleading and claims of being able to shoot real good, Rick makes a decision that it doesn't fucking matter because it scrolls by too fast. I think there's something out there. Yeah, Carl gets shot. That's right. Please don't shoot me. It was an accident. I swear. I say I said it was an accident. I swear. The farm I live on, the guy that owns the place, had a son shot in the foot. He got the bullet up and patched him up good. Yeah. Herschel Green, who was one of my fa most more liked characters in the show because he was basically pretty realistic. 
And then they had to fucking axe him off. Alright, so what are we doing here now? Morning head count? Rick, I hope you at least managed to get some rest despite your current situation, but I want you to know Carl is in good hands and I'm doing all I can. Otis has assured me that it was a genuine accident and I believe him. I hope you can too. When you are awake, you should attend the head count and keep your survivor, survivor group morale. Hmm. Keep up your morale. I'll catch up with you later, Rick. Herschel Green. Holy fuck, I got a hacksaw. Uh, broom handle. What? Glue. Another hacksaw. Reins. Chisel. File. Postcard. Another file. And more reins. Ten morning head count. So this is like the roll call thing? Okay, daily routines. As the leader of the group, keep the threat of the walkers at bay by constantly attending headcount, attending meal times, and completing jobs. What? <laughs> Whatever. Remember, keep on top of these daily routines to look after fellow survivors and keep your inner compound free of walkers. Follow the red arrow to each routine. Okay. I have an announcement to make. If everyone does their part, we can survive anything. Herschel. Things have changed. The world has changed, and we're going to have to change with it. Do you still think that we're going to be rescued? Do you? Oh. Okay, what do we got? We got Glenn, Herschel, Dale, Maggie, Lori, and Tyrese. Fucking... Only two of these characters are actually alive in the story still. That's basically Maggie and Glenn. Everyone else has been killed. Well, other than Rick and uh, good old Carl. Yay. Okay, during these times of the day, you'll have to... You, you don't have any daily routines. Attend to them. Okay. I gotta deal with some shit. Take a look around and see what there is. Ah. Okay, I don't have any weapons. So I'm gonna need some weapons. Oh, look at this. A rucksack. Crafting note? Wow, they actually kept in crafting notes. Look at that. Makeshift handle. I already know this. Oh. Yeah, basically the same. Equipping melee weapons. Melee weapons, remember you can use, you can equip melee weapons that you have in your inventory. To equip a melee weapon, place them into the weapon slot. Highlight your inventory by selecting L1 or R1 and press uh, right on the directional buttons. Okay. Oh, there's nothing else. So I should be able to kill that little fucker out there. Hey, you! Oh, fuck. Yeah, this isn't working that good. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Where's Daryl? Like, seriously, where the fuck is Daryl? <laughs> Okay, where, where is... 
Fuck, how do I get in there again? Uh, I need, I need a weapon. Complete the job. Laundry position? I'm on fucking laundry? My god. Yeah. Basically how this is. Fucker! Where'd he go? Okay, I, I didn't even have like a, a weapon or anything that I could basically use to kill him. that do? I didn't get any money for that. Attend lunch. Where did that fucking walker go? Somebody disband it? I guess I have to carry like a decent weapon because apparently a hoe ain't gonna do shit to no walker. Okay, so what are we doing now? I need to find a weapon. It's up here. Okay, this is the gym. Yeah. You know what? That might not be a uh, guide Rick to Carl's bedside. Why? What's going on? You dying? Collect the forceps. Where are the forceps? Oh. I didn't even know that was a desk. Forceps. Pillow. Head shears. These are a weapon. Maybe I'll hold on to them. Maybe I can cut a fucking zombie's head off. Collect the bandages. Oh, this is where my thing was. I can drop off some of my shit here. Uh, get that shit there. Put those in there, because I don't have the... Uh, I think it was the wood? What's everyone else got? Fires? Mug? I don't think molten chocolate is going to help this time around. <laughs> Screwdriver. Take it. Mm. 
machete. There we go. Time to go to Jason Voorhees on someone's ass. Yeah, they got a lot of new items. Bucket. Electric screwdriver. God damn. Oh, it's there. Um, purifier. Look at all this shit. A lighter. Wheat. Okay, I need this. Saddle? Craft these together now. Operating kit. Perfect. Let's give it to Herschel. Not before I. This. And this. And this. 40 more intellect. Uh, where do I go for intellect? Find Herschel and give him the operating kit. Yeah, okay. I want to try to find where I would increase my intellect. Right there? You can see if these books. Is these books what I'm looking for? Yeah, okay. I kind of wonder, like, when does each um, level end? Herschel. Um, oh, now I have an ammo count. Okay. Recruiting survivors. Okay, yeah, this is basically like uh, the escapist. Well, obviously, fuck's sakes. Okay, I need you to follow me. You're heading there anyway. Alright. I think I have a hold of it. Hold them down. Pulled out the bullet. Stop the bleeding. Yay! Little Carl's gonna win, live. Okay, get the fuck out of here, Herschel. Investigate the barn. I'll give you a fucking, I'll give you two guesses of what's in the barn, but you're only gonna need one. The barn is where we keep all our dead ones. Dead ones? What do you mean, dead ones? Fuck do you think he means? The dead ones! The ones that are causing all the trouble. Alright, arming survivors. You can equip survivors with weapons and armor. Stand near a survivor and press triangle to open their inventory, then select the item you want to give them with X. Any survivors following you will be made to attack. Stand near a survivor and press X, and then select the target with the L stick and confirm with X. Warning. Taking on a walker in a one-on-one -on -one situation without being armed is not recommended. Yeah, I found that out the hard way. Oh god. Final objective. So I guess if I clear out this barn, that's the end of this level. It's kind of short if you think about it. So, I guess we gotta hook everyone up with weapons. Which means I'm probably gonna need intellect. 
which is now it's dinner. Cool. Wait, what do these guys want? Could you help me out with a ladder? Yeah, I, I could do that. Yeah, it increases their mood towards you. Help me out with the drill. I'll keep my eyes open. What do you want, Glenn? You see that, Walker? To grab my battery, and it's making me physically sick. Oh, God. Well, then I'm going to have to work out a little bit, I guess. Okay, now these are for strengths. For those of you who don't know, running on the treadmill increases your speed of like movement speed but it also increases the amount of uh the the speed of how fast you attack an enemy whereas strength will actually increase the um the amount of health you have and how much damage you do the unfortunate thing is every time you work out it will decrease how much uh, stamina you have and then you have to either eat sleep or whatever else this game has you do in order to get it back up okay well fuck I'm gonna go this way so I need a, a drill and you kill this fucking walker to get a battery What was the other thing? Journal. Oh, quests. Uh, a drill. A lighter, that's right. And I think there was a lighter in one of these desks. Tyrese's desk? Might have a... What are those? Seeds? Egg? We can make like cakes and shit. There's a lighter here. Don't know what else I would really need. Is that a drill? electric screwdriver but it's basically a drill so I don't really know if that would be considered a drill I would consider it a drill but I guess if the game doesn't classify it as a drill it's not a drill later okay let's go to head count almost called it roll call okay. so who who needed what Herschel needed the the lighter Maggie needed the drill and Glenn needs that fucking battery from the walker so Herschel here you go you can have your lighter Thank you, I got 25 coins. What are coins gonna be good for? Let's do it with a file, I can do that. I can do that. Oh. You do with a battery. Okay. Duct tape. I guess we'll just wait until okay, it's light so you can save your current. Anyway, I guess it's lights out. Now, do I have to actually sleep? Well, I guess I, I should in order to save my progress. 